Alright, hello and welcome back to Using Dudettes to Dinos. First effort, Craftopia builds reveals. So, some of you Using Dudettes have been wondering how I get so much water for the water gun squirt gun farm. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first up I'm going to show you, I do build kind of insanely big. Uh, I am currently building out that way. And going further, there's something over there I haven't completed yet that I'm not going to show you all yet. It's my bioethanol farm. Uh... I saw a video, and if I'm being honest, I, I took it as a challenge. <laughs> so, anyways, as you can see here, I have about 20 water uh, collectors, or wells, god, I couldn't talk about. On each side, I have little droppers connected to each one with walls, uh, three times conveyor belts, just to keep them going kind of faster. You don't really need three times, I just like the three times, because they're cool. Uh, anyways, we go down through here, I've got a little monolith to keep everything operating and going smooth. Comes down to here and dumps right into this little container where I keep a chest full of good stuff. As you can see, there's a bunch of water in there. Little thing to keep the water from semi-flying out. There's also another little monolith right here to kind of keep things going. Basically what this does is it keeps things, uh, the monolith keeps things going inside of the chest. Uh, slash pass one passes through the absorbers. Now every now and again it can have an issue where it does. But then as you can see, I have Spider-Man 11 chest to, or 1 chest to 11 cooking box. Excuse my lingo, like I can't talk apparently today. I just woke up at like 6 a.m. and it's 8.36 and apparently I still can't talk. But as you can see, I also place conveyor belts here to kind of shoot out and lead over into this one little part right here, which leads into a chest, which I will go ahead and show you how it looks from in here real quick. Oh, I can jump up here. As you can see, it all shoots out right here. There's a couple little absorbers just to kind of keep the strength going to absorb and keep them coming. Go ahead and put that back. Now, you can make this even easier. In the previous video I showed you, you could stack wells. Super nice. Would actually make my water farm a little bit smaller, aside from this giant behemoth. But then I open this chest, and as you can see, I have 1,600... So 1636 things of water. So that is my well reveal, or my water farm reveal. How I'm saying that now. <laughs> Anyways, dudes and dudettes, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your family. If you want to see more of like my kind of reveals for like the base kind of ideas I'm doing, let me know. You know, sit there and put in the comment. Hey, you, you want to see more of this kind of crazy ideas I've got going on? I can go through and even do tips and tricks videos at some point showing you how I make them. Uh, I'm going to be honest, this one is, it's its not fun, if I'm being completely blunt. Uh, it took me two and a half hours just to get these 11 to work the way I want. I was going to do 14, but the front one, as you can see, only has one because I may or may not have like almost threw my controller through the wall, if I'm being honest. But anyways, dudes and dudettes, that is the end of the video. If you like what you're watching, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your families, and I will catch you dudes and dudettes in the next video. Stay classy.